day farmers welcome back to farm sims saturday so we got a field of corn the corn is fielding look at these trees they're getting tall hang on i gotta fix my mouse Arr, that's better the cord was hanging off weird um it's still acting weird anyways trees are getting tall so that's good those ones over there are getting taller too way over there but uh, the corn is in and now I can't remember I want to do some silage today but I can't remember now if I gotta let it fully grow or do it green like that I haven't quite finished the growth on it it's on the second last stage or the last stage I guess before it goes brown but I just can't remember well, last week we bought this guy so let's get him expanded. Well, there we go. I had a little glitch there. I think we're okay. All right. Yes, I can't remember now if I got to do this while it's still wet or not. So, um... Oh, he missed a whole row there. Really? Interesting, because I planted that. <laughs> okay. All right, now, I've got the little trailer. We bought that last week, too, and fortunately, it's under... I don't think I can just see it, like, right there. There it is. Got the little guy on it here. I'm not going to use this tracker. This, is, this guy is already up here, so... We'll bring this crone trailer back, and this has the uh, auto unloading feature, which is kind of nice. Doesn't have to tip, I don't believe. And the cool doors that open up. Yeah, so when you want to dump it out, it's got the little conveyors down there that uh, the door opens up, and then out she goes. So we're going to do some silage today, and hopefully some grass, make some hay. And then I'm going to need grass, I guess. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've done the animals. Actually, it's been a long time now that I think about it since we've done the animals. Holy cow. Uh, so it's going to be kind of refreshing to me to figure out how to do this again. But anywho, what I'll do is... Uh, this tractor's X. No, no, I'll go get the white. I think I'll trade tractors here. This one's... Uh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> All right. We'll unhook that feller there, and uh, we'll just drive this guy down to get rid of him. Get the white or something. Maybe even a John Deere product. But yes, I can't recall now if it's okay to do it while it's still green like this. Um, I think normally you would... But in the game here, I don't know what we'll figure it out here. Alright. So, the white is... I parked everything, all except the dump truck and that trailer, because I don't think that's going to fit in there now. Everything got parked inside here when I was... Oh, well, except for that trailer over there. But <laughs> Whoops. Everything got parked inside here, except those things. And... Uh, Oh, that's right. I got the John Deere with the tether on there ready to do that. Uh, ready to do that hay for us. So, we're going to have to do that. All right. Oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. If I can get out of there, we go. Too many tractors? It's awesome. So I don't have a mod of the week for you this week because uh, I spent too much money last week. I still got 728000 Yeah, that's good, but uh, I might potentially have to buy another combine and another corn header. I don't know if it saw those just outside the building there, but I got the corn headers bought too and brought them down. So uh, whatever we don't uh, run through this machine here, we'll uh, get the uh, combines out after she turned and... Uh, do some corn shelling with, uh, with that. So, 
But I want to get some silage today, and you can do it either way. You can do it with grass too there, but I uh, figured I'd try it this way. This one for a long time, so. All right, the old white should be able to keep up to this guy. So this guy here should. Yeah, we'll be all right. Okay. Shoots a mile and a half, that thing. That's super awesome. I don't know how long we'll go here until that uh, trailer is full, but uh, I'll have to adjust my... Oh, that's up to about 13, maybe. Come on, baby. Catch up. Still gaining on him there. That's better. Ten. That is odd how that did not plant that. That's really weird. <laughs> so we ended up doing most of this plowing because this we had to replow again to plant this corn. Uh, most of the plowing with the uh, those cultivator plow things. That actually worked pretty good that we had uh, last week. I'll show you them when we get back over there. bit of chaff. So hopefully we can get, well, I don't think we're going to get one whole row in here. No, we're not <laughs> in this trailer. But I'll do, uh, I guess I'll fill up all those bunkers. I guess so we'll do a fair piece here. Them all filled up. Put the uh, silage, silage in and that'll be done there because we're going to use probably a fair bit of silage when we're feeding because we're going to make stuff. So I know we got lots of straw. I know we've got another one set up for hay. I haven't got any hay coursing yet. That's maybe the job for today. Or we might just do this today and do hay next week. All depends. All depends. 75% filling up pretty quick. It's not a huge bunker system I put in over there, so I don't know how much we're going to need, but a few rows of this anyways, and then the rest will put through the combines after it's all grown, it's grown up. I'm pretty sure you would do this stuff fairly green before it kind of dries out, fall time kind of thing, um, because it would help for mulching it down and turn it to doing his thing. Alright, we are loaded. Let's put up the doors. Whoa, where's my tractor going? That's pretty darn cool. Might need a little bit bigger tractor. I don't know how well this thing's going to drag that up. I might have to get Bud going. Okay, I think we're finally ready to do some farm sim Saturday here. Oh my goodness, phone calls. Oh man, anyway, sorry, I apologize for that. I uh, should have silenced my phone and I forgot all about it. But anyways, let's head her, <laughs> head her back. We'll dump this first load here anyways. And uh, see, uh, I'll be able to tell by that how much we're able to throw in here. I, I think there's two bunkers here. I can't honestly remember which one I put in here now. But we will see when we get back here. But I kind of think I'm going to have to switch to Mr. Bud once we get these um, piles kind of going here. So I don't think this little tractor, I don't think it's going to have enough power to uh, get up over the heaps uh, and stuff. So. And Bud will crush it down real nice too. Right? We'll give her a shot though with this one. I'm not going to give up on it quite yet, but we'll... We shall get something else going. So, these bunkers, if I remember right, it's been a while since I've been around there, um, are just kind of behind that building. There's the plow disc, disc plowy things here that we used, uh, worked really well with each bud going. It really worked really well. So I don't think I'm going to really have to use a plow again, which is kind of nice. So, bunkers. 
the bunkers are here. Oh, it's only one bunker. That's right. There was uh, one, a two, and a three, I think. So I just did, uh, did, did that one. That should be lots for a while. We can do more when we need it. Now, that was cool. I don't know if you saw that. Um, the actual shadow come through. <laughs> it's really cool. That is kind of neat. Okay, um, now. Why is this not... want to dump here. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, I don't know if I like that too much. I might have to do the... I, I bet you this won't cover itself. Let's just try your left control. I... All right, we'll dump her here, but uh, I, I kind of have a feeling that something's going to be screwing up here. Oh, no, it's filling. Okay, yeah, I see it's filling. Okay, no, we're good. I, did, I was just expecting the, you know, the auto-dumpy kind of thing to come up, and it didn't, so. All right, that worked pretty good. Now, if my door would go down, I'd like that even more. Oh, there she goes. Takes a moment. So I like to drive back over top here again, but I think this is where I'm going to have problem here. Now, also, I want... Oh, I have to wait for this compact on this. I wanted to see... Uh, well, actually, that wasn't terrible, man. Uh, I wanted to see... But well, you have to compact it all first. 19, 20. I think we're going to need Bud. Bud would be awesome here. I'm just gonna get stuck. Come on, two-wheel drive tractor. <laughs> Not so good, maybe. Uh, I wonder if we can get away with a smaller bud. I think I'm gonna switch now. A little tractor, but for that kind of an application, maybe not. Maybe not. A smaller bud. We'll try him. Ooh, where am I going? Good little tractor, though. That was a decent little tractor. Okay, little bud. Quite a difference, eh, in the size of the tires. Let's back up here again. There's quite a difference there. <laughs> the size is definitely a lot beefier on the big, big bud. I love that tractor. It's my favorite, I think. I think, anyways. I just wouldn't want to be the one to have to feed that thing. Oh, man. All right, you know what? We should try first here, make sure that uh, this thing will actually fit in here. I think it should. I'm pretty sure it will. Just, I don't know if Big Bud would fit in here. It might. Oh, yeah, that's way better. So what I want to do is get this compacted. Just do this one this way, and then the other ones will do this all. When we get it all in there. But I just want to see and make sure it's going to give me that. Uh, what's it called now? Where you can wrap it or cover it, tarp it or whatever it's called. Okay, so if we go out of here now, it should. Yeah, silo. Blanket silo. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, what? Uh, Percentage chat yeah, 56,000. Doesn't say how full it is. So. Well, we'll just keep bringing it until we can't put any more in. And that will be good for a bit. 35.7 hours on this. I can't even believe that. That's a lot of hours for a game. All right. Yes, I wasn't expecting that phone call, so I do apologize for that. But uh, not, a, not a big deal. It must be windy here today. That windmill is just going like crazy. Oh, I should have used the other butt because it goes like 80 kilometers an hour. I did uh, beef it up a little bit. This one I haven't done, though, but... Uh, 
We monitor, modded the mod a little bit. So, we gotta adjust that again back to around 10. 10. And uh, get some more chaff. It's not a very fast tractor. That's the uh, downfall of this one. But I don't know if I could get Bud to fit in that silo. That was uh, the bunker there. Sorry, that was kind of tight. With this one, it had a little bit of room on the sides, but uh, it might fit. But Bud would definitely be a lot faster. Might try it, though. Maybe give him a shot, too. When we get back over there, maybe I'll uh, see if it'll, if it'll fit. And then if it does, maybe we'll switch to the big Bud. Big bud. Alright, I gotta restart this guy again here because uh, he was eating up money. I was on the phone the phone there and he was eating up money, so we uh, shut him down for a moment. I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Oh, I know what happened here. It's good. Ooh, it's a bit down there. That's on the other side or behind them or something. Um, I guess the rows aren't quite straight here. That definitely shows me there that it's a little wider at this end of the field than that end. They about four furrows there kind of thing. Well back off a little bit here and see if I can just drive in behind him. Should track around. I just don't know if it's going to shoot that far. Holy jumping. I don't think it's supposed to shoot that far, is it? That's a long way to shoot some chaff my goodness wow that's working though it's kind of close but it's working might be a nice little screenshot right there. I think my guy's gaining on him a little bit I'm pushing him I must have gained on him <laughs> actually adjusted that chute too to go kind of straight out. Alright, what are we at? 66? We'll definitely make it to the end of the road here. Boy, that, uh, if that actually shoots it that far, that must be one heck of a One heck of a powerful um, shoot. Like uh, stuff coming out of the shoot must be one really, really powerful thing. It's kind of a screenshot too, isn't it? We can get uh, quite something. I like getting these little screenshots because not too often I do this stuff and what I'll do is uh, get that out of the Steam screenshot directory thing and actually put it in a folder and then my uh, desktop background changes to different stuff that we've done in the game here. So it's kind of cool. We're full again. All right. Fold up the doors. Zip back. And I think I might switch to Big Bud. We're going to try him in that, uh, that bunker, though. I don't know if it's going to fit. Because this is a fairly long drive going 32 kilometers an hour. It's a long way back. <laughs> this is a really big field now. I don't think we're going to be making any more fields, um, per se. I don't think we need to uh, really go much further with our fields, because this will be enough work for us now to keep up to this. So. But, uh, yeah, let's get uh, this unloaded, and then we'll see if Bud will fit in that bunker. 
He might not because it's a fair bit wider, but I could go and get that one set of tires taken off bud there. That would help too to get a lot narrower. Just doesn't look right though. <laughs> it's got to have more, more rubber on it. Looks better that way, I think. So we got pretty much to that end, so that's two trailer loads. Interesting. Per uh, per uh, row here, we got two trailers out of that. Really short in there. Can't really see much out those windows. Uh, anything any higher, anyways. Short windows. So it still fits in the building, I guess. All right. Slow, bud. The other one will be back by now, probably. I think I got it going... Well, I set it to 100 kilometers an hour, but I can only seem to get 88 out of it. Maximum. It's still a lot better than... It's double and a bit more than what we're doing now, so... Yeah. Now, this stuff, I believe we could sell at our... Uh, sale point over there, too, I think. Not sure, though, if they do chaff. It's more like bales, that stuff. So I don't know if they do that or not there. But Well, let's dump this in. We'll uh, the doors open there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that big butt's going to fit. Don't think so. I might have to rip off a set of the tires. All right. Let's turn around here. We'll drive back over that stuff. I know they have rollers and stuff, but uh, I don't mind driving on it. Same, same, same thing. Pretty much. Oh, Big Bud might fit. It's gonna have to be bang right on, though, I think. Why is that not going down? There. Alright, let's get Mr. Big Bud out. And uh, I don't have the workshop here to remove that other set of tires, but it would definitely be better. But ooh, that's pretty wide. Look at this here, too. I just made it underneath that boom. The tires actually just cleared the boom here. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there he is. Mr. Big Bud. Oh, he goes fast. That's for sure. Yeah, is this going to work? Yeah, might have to go up to the place. Oh, We'll be all right, just barely. Definitely squishes them out good. I think we'll be all right. That'll be better because we can zip back a little faster with this thing. Come back to 100% already. <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> Still making them work a little bit there, surprisingly, but uh, we'll be all right. All right, let's look uh, unhook little bud. Just gonna drag this one out a little bit more there. All right, we'll put this guy back. Fairly tight here. Ooh, not that tight. Okay, good to go. Well, let's hook up this trailer. Isn't that an awesome sight? Oh. This sounds awesome too. 
they really made a good one here when they did this, this guy. Alright, we should be able to zip back pretty quick with this once she gets up to speed. We're already way faster than the other tractor. 50, 60. Should be around 88. It should level off at. This is screaming way faster. 84, that's it. It's a trailer on, I guess. All right, we're going to have to this down to 10 so we can follow. 10 kilometers an hour. That's a little speedier. Look at that dust pouring off here. Woo wee. Now, this might not work getting close to the rear end of him here, this other guy. So I don't know how we're going to do that. But we'll be able to come down this row again now anyway. So that'll work fine. We can still run beside him whenever he gets turned. So we didn't quite get this row finished. Interesting. Might have to push him. Oh, just barely making it. I'll just push him. That'll work. <laughs> you missed some there, Fred. I <laughs> pushed him too fast, I guess. Whoops. All right, we'll let him get into position there, and we will turn. We'll head her back down this road. I don't know how much that bunker holds, but I'm gonna we're gonna load her up, I think, today, and then uh, get this finished off and get the combines in here and finish it off. Take it for sale. I wonder what the price is for corn right now. Hopefully, it's a good price. Oh, it is too. It's actually going up. Ooh, that's good. I don't mind that. Screenshot. Sure. You can actually gain it on here now. Sure does fire a long way. Holy. Almost 90. Almost full again. But it won't take us so long to get back. Be interested to see how fast it'll go uh, now with its loaded trailer. Should be about the same, but. Yeah, and, and 100. All right. Away we go. Weird shine off the trees. 
73, 74, 75. I'm cutting across. Keep the speed up. <laughs> Did put the doors up, but that's all right. 84. Pretty good. Control and I, there we go. That's actually holds a fair bit in here, I think. See how much the compaction's at here. Eighty-one. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What's oh, getting stuck on? Riding high in the middle, maybe. Well, that's weird. I can back up fine, but I can't uh, keep it going. It's like a high spot right in the middle there. Well, that's not so good. I guess even Bud would get stuck in here too. Looks like it's not going to be too much better here. Yeah, maybe the smaller tractor is better. I don't know. I guess he uh, rode up in the center there a little bit, but uh, oops. I'll try to keep uh, keep some silage or uh, chaff coming back here, anyways. Interesting. Look how tiny that little Kubota is compared to this thing. Holy cow, this thing's this is a monster. I bet you I'm not going to be able to get back in there now on the next trip. Something's telling me. see how uh, how much we had in that bunker now well, all right back for more back for more If I wasn't dragging the trailer through too, it might go better. Uh, it could be hanging up, I guess. Kind of got to drive in, though, uh, to dump the stuff, right? That's kind of important. Hopefully make it 
well, pretty much to the end. I think we'll leave a little bit off the end again, if it's the same as the other row. So I've only got, I guess, the two big combines with the uh, two uh, corn headers. I'm not going to run the third small guy. So just the two big guys after we get this, whatever we need out of here. We'll have to finish growing the field, though. I think it's, like I say, it's pretty much ready. I think it's on the last. Yeah, it's on the dark green there, so I think the should be finished. Yeah, soil composition. needs plowing again. <laughs> well... Oh, we actually might make it right to the end here. Interesting. Same distance, but we got a bit further this time. I think, anyways, 90%, yeah. Interesting. I wonder why that changed. Ninety-seven, well. Starter, we'll have to turn around and go back, but it's okay. and we're full. Okay. All good. Well, let's head her back with another load and see what happens here if I get stuck or not. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe the bigger tractor is not a good idea. I don't know what else I would have that would be uh, decent for compacting that, though. But uh, give her a shot here and see see what happens when we get in here. It's going to probably do the same thing. As I hit her real hard, it's not really compacting. It's kind of staying high in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, that's not a good thing, is it? Now we're really stuck. Oh man, come on, baby, you can do it. This true foil will drive. I think I'd ever have that problem. Well, how am I going to get this out of here now? Oh, 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 what a mess. Those tires aren't even touching. Uh-oh. I don't think there's anything that's going to move Bud. Oh, man. Something biting. The trailer's not holed up anywhere, but those backs aren't even spinning now. Look. They're spinning really fast. Come on, I have faith in you, bud. You can do it. Come on, bud. Ah. do here boys oh no he's all pinched up man how am I going to get this out of here <laughs> come on bud you can do it 
It's just oh. There's just one lump of stuff in there that just will not let me pass. Right in the center. I wonder if I hit it with the other bud, what would that do? Um, gonna get two of them stuck probably here now. <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't know how you're supposed to compact that stuff. I guess this type of tractor isn't really good for that. But. This is probably just gonna get stuck too. I'm willing to bet. It'll get up in the center there and it just won't even do anything. It'll just push against them and that'll be it. Oh, I can't get up there, never mind. Ha 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 ha, he's not going to do nothing. Might have to go find myself a big excavator mod or something. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Pretty sure this little bud is not gonna push him. Not gonna happen, I don't think. Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to pop out of game, I guess, and find myself some kind of recovery vehicle. Because that's not going to work. Interesting. Let's give her just another little... Well, let's see if we can maybe physically move this trailer out of the way. Oh, that's a really heavy trailer. You just get it to flick the tongue around this way. Yeah, like that. I don't have to worry about that trailer for right now. Oh, don't flip it over. Ah, it should be able to come out of there. Okay. Interesting. I don't think the trailer is giving a, a problem. Let's get this drag out of the way here. Well, let's give Bud one more shot before I go try to find some kind of something to do a recovery. No, it's it's almost wanting to come out. Oh oh oh! There we go. I think we got him out. Wow, we. Well, that was a nightmare, wasn't it? I don't know why it's such a lump in the middle there, though. That's interesting. I don't think this one's going to be any better if we're going in there. Something's telling me. Hello? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Who'd have thought? We're going to have to use something else to compact all this, I guess. Oh, no, I got her stuck again here. Come on, baby. Trailer unloaded, anyways. Whew. Something else to compact that? Oh boy, I don't know what, because that's getting kind of crazy in there now. I think there is some kind of some special tool for compacting. Hold 
But yeah, I guess because Bud, you know, such a big machine there, it. Uh, something else because right now we're only 87 still got a long way to go here yet too what if they got in here for that I honestly I don't know if there's anything in game I've never really done it so I don't really know uh, boy uh, I don't know uh, animals Actually, I could look in there too Oh, they don't have my... Oh, uh, man, I'm going to have to use a loader. I like that other one with that chute thing on the front to suck all the stuff up, but I guess we'll have to use that. Uh, miscellaneous. There's a chip van trailer. No, I don't think I got anything for the silage. I thought there was some kind of roller or something. I can't remember. But I guess what we should have been doing is backing in and then dumping, backing in and dumping. So I'm going to have to go to the other side, I guess, now and do it that way. Well, I would have done a little better than that, but I'm about to figure out maybe one of the other tractors would be better for that compaction stuff. All right. Well, continue on here. couple of loads anyways, that should do us for a wee while. Yeah, I thought there was something for that. Uh, levelers, maybe that's what I need. Uh, yeah, I bet you I should get one of them. Levelers are used to move chaff and silage and level the heaps in the silos. That's what we need. Okay. He's all right there for a minute. Let's have a look at these again. Levelers. Used to move chaff and silos. I guess it's a little wider, that one. So Now, how does that, what does that hook to? Just a three-point hitch? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's try one of them. To get up there and pick that up with something. There's uh, another level or two. I'll just get that one. I thought there was something, but I wasn't 100% sure. I haven't done the silage for quite a while, actually. So we'll have to see what'll get up in there now and level that off. I guess that would make sense to uh, kind of squish that down. It used to kind of do that all in one when you compacted it in the old farm sim I remember we were doing it that way, but I guess you gotta use that machine too you now the leveler. Get that lump out of the middle there and then we'll probably be fine. So what do we got up uh, we got to run up to a three point pitch on that that's one of the smaller trackers to run up at that. Alright, 85 already. Nice. Nine nineteen. It's almost coffee time, I guess. Oh, my bad. That was weird. That's what I hit. It was the end, but he jumped out of the thing for some reason. Anyways, oh, I know why. Because I reached over. Yeah, that's what happened. When I reached over, 
to grab the N to keep the W pressed for the forward. I hit the E as well. That's, of course, to get out of the tractor, but... All right, the trailer's getting dirty looking on the top anyways. Okay, what are we going to run up to the store with? Uh, something that's sort of fastish. I don't know really what I got for tractors. It's four-wheel drive. You know what I probably need is the, uh, the ones with the uh, tracks on it, but I don't really like the tracked ones. Um, this little guy here might actually be pretty good. The level, and it's going to 3.8 on it, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of narrower in the middle, and lots of tires to float up on. Should be, should be good. That'll take us a moment to get up there and pick that up, but uh, it's all right. We'll go grab it and bring it home again, and uh, try our right out of those piles a little bit. Yeah, I guess FS19, I haven't done any uh, silage at all that I can uh, remember that I really remember doing anyways. Uh, I don't think I did much in 17 either, so maybe more in 15. I don't really remember now. I know 19, I think this is the first silage we've done. to this thing if I can get in there now. <laughs> Should be able to get up here with that. I think it'll probably smooth it all out first and everything. And all good for driving again. Alright. Well there it is, except I think it's backwards. We're gonna back up to this way. That thing folds out too. But it does, it's like a snow plow basically. It doesn't lift up very high though, that's just kind of interesting. Kind of, kind of something not right here. Well, that's weird. Actually lifts me up. Huh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back with this. That's really strange. I guess it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but that's that that can't be right. I don't know about this thing. Level. I mean, it's lowered right now. If I go anymore, it'll be uh, squashed to the ground. Okay, I don't know if this is going to kind of work the way I was sort of thinking. That's strange. It's going to take a while to back when we have to drag this thing like that. That's I presume I gotta kind of go back, push backwards with it. But... Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. Holy, oh, yeah, that's almost impossible. I'm glad this is a articulating little tractor. I don't think I'd be able to drive it other than that, otherwise. Could be just the 3 point inch on this tractor, I don't know, but you're gonna need something fairly beefy to lift this in, I would think, and actually get in there. Maybe I should have got that disc one, I don't know. This is 
kind of weird. Try my best to try to keep it going straight, but I think we're driving more sideways than we are going straight. Flip it up, it's too many. Starts dragging your rear end over. You gotta do that. Wow. Wow. Who'd have thought it? I had no clue. I guess my hitch is as high as it'll go. I bet you this isn't gonna work too well. We're almost home. We'll give her a shot here anyway. See what happens. We have to switch tractors to something else. I can't use butt on this because then I'd have to put that dolly thing on. There's going to be no way you'd back that up. Let's see what happens if I just let it go here. Just That's really weird. That's four wheel drive, but I bet you it's meant to go on the bigger tractors. That's probably why I'm having a problem with this. This isn't going to work at all, I don't think. This is not going to do anything. Let's see what happens here. Get it in there, straighten up. The back tires are just spinning like crazy. but then it gets stuck, right? Wow. We are going to need another, some sort of a tractor. That's just not going to work for that one. I guess it is kind of a lower hitch, too. Ooh. What do we got in here that's a bigger tractor that's a bigger hitch to white? I don't know. Look at that John Deere. Give her a shot, though. No, I'm going to have to go with something bigger, I guess. He's going to have to bite the bullet and buy a bigger tractor with something with a better hitch on it. And if this doesn't lift it off the ground, oh. then it's not going to work too well either. Let's see what happens. See, that one's right off the ground. That one's fine. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, it didn't work too, too bad, I guess. Should be able to get in there with Bud now. Should be able to get in there with Bud. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much more we can actually throw in this bunker. Fair bit of room left, I think. Yeah, go back for some more. Mr. Bud. I didn't think the bunker would actually hold that much. It's actually quite a bit. I think I got quite a few loads, actually. I could probably still put in there. If we want to write full, that is. But getting stuck there for a while, that didn't kind of help. Didn't help our situation much there. get another trailer load anyways. kind of expect this chap to take this long today, but we're going to need her with the amount of cattle I kind of plan on getting. I want to get maybe 50. It's a lot to look after, so we're going to need a lot of food for them. Chaffy. Silage. I know we got one full building of straw there. So that's good. I couldn't figure out where the straw straw goes there though, so I was kind of confused. And that big building for the cows. to see how the uh, harvesters do over there on that hill and they're going up I don't know <laughs> I got some uh, I don't know I'll see how they make out I'm gonna I don't know what it, what to do with this field because it's just too much hill there I think they, uh, they don't handle it too well I like the looks of the field but it's just not working too too great but uh, anyways, keep going with it maybe for now we are almost full again. Oh, I'm not going to make that turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Enter. Oh, I crashed into the building. Now look out. Got to quit drinking, I guess. 
All right, we'll go with another load here, and I don't know if I'm going to have to plow that again. Might have to plow her out again. I like the looks of that. Uh, that one that was like a disc. I wonder if that would work better. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. That might work better. I don't know. Drive, drive, drive with it, I think, and then uh, squash her down and level her out. Well, we'll keep going with this other level over here. See if it's going to work for us. It just seems weird going backwards like that. Should definitely get in there pretty good. Oh, that's a big lump on the end there. That's not good. Should see if we can smush that down. So. We got a really big bunch of lumps in there. Well, let's see what we can do here. You know what? I am not happy with this one. So I'm going to find it here and sell it. I'm going to go try that disc one, I think. Let's just get rid of her here. It's just not working. Nice that we can sell stuff like that. Let's try this guy. Okay, I got enough to drive all the way back up here. I won't put you through that. We'll uh, get her back here. We'll give her a shot. Oh, I forgot how fast this tractor went. It's slipping along pretty good, actually. So there's the new attachment, anyways. Looks a little different. It's better than those plow things. Probably if I had a bigger tractor than that plow thing, you'd be a lot better. But she folds out, too, of course. And uh, I guess we just drive over and it somehow levels it out rolls it out or something. I don't know. Hopefully it levels it too and rolls it. I don't know what's going to happen here actually. I almost think that's just a, like a rolling, a compacting thing, but we'll, uh, we'll give her a shot here and see. See if we can get up in the air again. Oh boy. That did. Not sure if it actually leveled anything there. I don't really think so, but.
Levelers are used to move chaff and silage and level heaps in the silos. Well, that's what it says, but I don't know. It didn't seem to be doing that to me. It's leaving it for the lump still. Definitely down. I don't know. Well, let's go get one more load, maybe. That'll be good for now. This stuff's kind of poured out the front here, which is kind of weird. Put another load maybe just on this end here, and then we'll call her and get her blanketed. I could probably get a lot more in there yet, but if we have to, we can do some more. That'll be a fair bit for now, anyways, but I want to see how that blankets. Interesting to see how that blankets itself. So we're pretty much ready to start the next row. I guess that's one, two, fourth row, maybe? Something like that. Yeah, we'll just throw one more trailer load in there, compact her down, and get her siloed, or blanketed, I guess, and get her turned to silage. That'll take a wee while, too, but I'm not quite ready for the cows yet, so got a bit more work to do. We also got to get some sort of a trailer to bring them home with. Yeah, just the last little bit more. That's interesting. Tractor's getting away on me. Well, I'm going to get this time zipping along here, too, get this stuff to grow here. Let me see what happens when it changes. If it just keeps going here, or what happens? What happens, actually? Shouldn't think it'll be too much longer um, until it changes over. I used to, get to do that before I ran out of space in the trailer, but. Stop for a minute here, just so I have a bit of room left. Wait for that to change over, which I say like it shouldn't be too much longer. I think it should still harvest it and chaff it the same, although it kind of really shouldn't because it's dried out there and there's not much moisture in it. Come on, corn. Another hour going by. I don't want to do this when it's dark. Don't really want to be harvesting when it's dark. 
I guess if we have to, we can go through to the next day. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. I just want to check the price here, too. Bad. That's yeah, still working. Coming at green. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, then. I don't know about that, but... Maybe what I'll do is I'll finish this trailer here and then go dump this one. I'll try to back in there as far as I can and dump it. And then uh, we'll go uh, come back and just get the rest of this row. This is finish this row off. That will look. another trailer load there so I'll have to try to back her in and get her in nice and tight I don't know if I want to try driving over that with this thing again it didn't level it off too well that other one worked better but I think I needed a lot bigger tractor for that I don't know if that thing actually tells you how many what horsepower you should have for it Woo! look out bud we're, we're jackknifing her Really don't want to get Bud stuck in there. That would be really bad, I think. And this pile would be really bad getting that stuck. Uh, well, here goes, I guess. Let's run that thing through there, I guess. We'll see what happens. Silage Packer, that's what this thing is. It's not a leveler. It's a full Silage Packer. So that leveler works, I guess, for its purpose, but I think it's a lot better tractor for it. Well, we'll get one more jam in the end here, maybe, and then, uh, I don't know if we get it. Probably hold a lot more than this, but. Oh, I mean, I could buy a bigger tractor, I guess, too. Uh, another tractor. <laughs> Large tractors. Like something like that. That should be really good in there. Wow. Well, you only live once, right? Some wheel weights. Dual wheels, probably gonna need that. Ooh, it's getting pretty wide. Rear twins, what was the difference there? Twin wheels, so oh, they're just singles in the front. Crawler tracks, ooh, nice. Standard, I kind of think I need something with the weights like that would be good. 380, a little more horsepower. Well, it's only money. <laughs> so I also want to buy that leveler, I think, too, again for that big feller. Old 
finish that row off. I'll have to bring that other guy home too. And uh, the leveler. We'll see how we're looking then after I run that big thing through it. Hopefully it gets through all right. Other than that, I don't know what else to do with that stuff. Holy cow. All right. Well, let's get another trailer load here. And we'll go grab that uh, case tractor and bring them home. This guy driving, I can bring the other one home while these guys are still working here, but... Ah, uh, that's okay. We'll make it pretty much to the end here, and then uh, see how we're looking. I don't really need that other cage tractor, but... Uh, okay, we'll grab it, I guess. Um, I'm sure we'll use it for something. He'll pull a, pull a plow real good, I've got two big buds too now, but... We could retire the other one, the original one, but I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it really sentimental, you know. So we probably don't need that little compactor now, because the tractor will compact it on its own, but it'll be interesting to see how much better this leveler works with a bigger tractor than an actual large three-point hitch on it. Might work pretty good. turn around we'll pop up to the shop here at least I hope this tractor will be big enough it should be should push that in there for good the extra weights too that'll be nice Oh, it doesn't lift it that high. I'm kind of surprised. It hangs down a long way, I guess, below the hitch. Below the pins there. The lights on them, that's nice. Alright, that guy, I guess we're too far away. Well, let's go back and let's go push this stuff up here a bit, see, see what this tractor does. Hopefully, it doesn't get stuck too. Listen, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to back into the pile with this thing. I would kind of think so, but it's kind of angled like that, right? Maybe 
we are supposed to drive in. I don't know. We'll try both ways, maybe. Here. I've done the silage for a while. I can say there, said there, so yeah, it's kind of sort of newish to me again. Yeah, it looks like you could actually go both ways. It's got a cutting edge on both sides. That makes sense. Let's try it here and see. supposed to push it. No doing anything, it's going through the blade. Dude, that's too much for it, holy jumping. I don't know, this is, uh, I, I kind of think they ruined the silage fun here, uh, with this, what they're doing in this game now. I mean, eventually this will smooth out, but you hit, like, a big ridge like that, and then it's like, what the heck? So I'm doing it wrong, I don't know, maybe I am. I don't know. I mean, this is, it's working, but it's, it seems to be more of a nuisance now than anything. Well, I guess that's about as much damage as we can do there. All right. Well, we'll bring this one more load, I think, in, and uh, that'll be good for now. That'll, that'll last us for quite a while, I think. It's not full, I don't believe, but we'll throw this one more load in here. We'll have to uh, get our combines going. Get over to him. Don't chop me up. I'll probably keep this machine because we'll probably need it again eventually at some point. Let's leave it over. Well, yeah, I'll just leave it over here for now. I think this guy's in a better room for turning, but I'll just leave it over here. Okay, let's grab. This last load here. And we'll see if we can get it piled on the other end and then get her compacted and then uh, put the put the tarp to it. Cover. Yeah, I kind of think their silage stuff was better in the other versions. It's like I haven't done it in this one, I guess. And this is terrible. 
I mean, uh, like, yeah, you need to drive on it, but you shouldn't get, like, big ridges. I wouldn't have thought like that in it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe you do. Should be able to drive through here with Bud, though. Like, it's not that bad. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Not again. Come on. Come on, Bud. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on, Bud. Come on, Bud. Keep pushing. Whew. Well, that wasn't fun. We'll just dump it in the other end here. I think be done with it. It's tight through here. Yeah, that wasn't exactly how I wanted things to kind of go with the silage today. I was kind of disappointed with that a little bit. It worked, but still. see there's still lots of room in there I could probably put that half of that field in there but I, I think that's gonna be lots for me Seems to get through here pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. That should be enough for a wee while anyways. I need a shed just for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's get that blanket on here now and see what this does. Blanket silos are... Okay, well... Oh, now I'm stuck. Really? Well, she's blanketed. Some of it's kind of hanging out the end here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It kind of conforms. Just basically puts a white cover over it. But. So, fermenting silage, 1%. It's going to be a while. All right. Um, now, we could put some of this stuff away here. Guess we got to get our combines out. They already got the headers on there, ready to go. Not too sure. Whoa. Not too sure if I got enough room there for Bud now. I didn't get that other tractor over quite far enough, but. Um, okay. Well, we can get that other stuff put away later. I don't have to do it right now. 
So, let's get some combining going here. And uh, before we start into this, I'm going to take myself a little break. I've been doing this for quite a while here now. And uh, let me look at this guy started. Nice big headers on these things, which is good. Get this guy started over here, and then the guy can start on the other side. Fair chunk of an overlap. And away we go with that corn. Not so corny. <laughs> um, okay. The other one's right there. And he should be all hooked up and ready. Yeah, the little guy, though, I'm not going to get him. Out, I don't think. The truck is still there, ready to go. Uh, I might throw some of this in storage, too. Uh, let's see here. I don't think we have any corn, of course. No. Well, there's a little bit. Nope. Sorry, wrong one. No, I don't have any corn. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, yeah, so we've got zero right now. I might uh, put some in storage. Maybe. Although the price is good right now. I should probably jump on that and keep the price nice. All right, what is that saying now for the field? Is that saying he's plowed too? Oh, yeah. Well, we can work on that after. But okay, I'm going to take a little break here. We'll let these guys fill up, and then uh, get our dump truck. We'll get sitting in the dump truck, get ready to go here. Let's bring him over. He's all dirty and everything. Oh, man. We're going to need the trailer, I think, too. This stuff builds up fairly quickish, I do believe. Alright, let him go. I'll be right on back. Back, and I totally forgot that I had this silo. Fermenting silo. Oh, I wish I would have known that before I went through all that uh, problems in that other silo. But, anyways, let's put it right here. No. Fermenting silo. I totally forgot about this thing. Um, now, uh, kind of want to try this guy out here too, but I don't want him to be in the way. Um, let's see here. Maybe right there. Okay, oh, that doesn't really match, but anyways. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. There we go. So, we got to get our stuff going here again. <laughs> our uh, cutter, which is still over there. And, uh, well, what did we do now with our... Uh, oh, boy. Did I put it away? I can't remember now. Nope, here he is. Okay, so what we got to do, I believe, is just take the stuff over into this place and then it just kind of does it uh, puts it in the silo and it ferments it into the silo oh this is not gonna fit in there <laughs> that is not gonna fit in there all right well I might be able to just back in be a little bit more messing about but that is all right Let's just try it here and see. Well, if I could back up with this silly thing. Being an articulator, it just makes it a little more difficult. Yeah, that should work. All right, let's go get some more silage. This thing, I believe, even has a digital readout here to tell me how much I got in there. Oh, see there? Input, chaff, grass, hay. Silage. Digestate. You throw that on the field. That's like um, like the gooey stuff. You can throw that on the field. So that's also good. 
All right, well, let's go back and get some more going here. I'm going to use Bud because it's just so fast. Um, works pretty good. But let's go get... Um, well, what I'll probably do is do the two things at once here. What I'll do is uh, get these guys to keep going. And I'll leave the dump truck over here and we'll take... I guess the silage, the chaff from over on the far side over here. Way over here, maybe, because I don't... Well, I don't know if I'm going to need to haul that. Oh, that little bit got planted, too. That's kind of funny. Yeah, let's start the... Uh, uh, let's start this guy over here. Okay, it's got to start these guys again. And that guy's almost full. And this guy is... Quite almost full. All right, and should be that guy there. We'll just drive him over. Drive him over and start unloading. Or start loading, I guess. I totally forgot I had that thing. I guess we placed that... Um, well, that guy didn't go very far. I guess we placed that uh, bunker silo last week there, didn't we? So, anyways. That's alright. Not a worry. Be a little bit closer. A little bit closer for us to drive back to. So. That's interesting, this thing uh, keeps cutting there, but where's the stuff going? Does it actually store a little bit in there? You kind of wonder. Well, we'll do a trailer here. Yeah, I think it just disposes of that stuff. <laughs> So that'll be nice to... Yeah, that'll actually work good, other than our grass. Which... We might just get away just doing hay. I don't know if we're actually need grass, grass to feed them, but... Uh, we'll be able to just back the uh, feeder right under there. Under that machine, and... Uh, see, the other way, I would have had to scoop it with a loader. So that'll work. That'll work good. And uh, we can get under the hay, we can get under the straw, feeder, dispenser, silo, storage thingies over there. So that'll work. Okay, these guys are all full. I'm going to stop this guy for a minute. We're going to grab the dump truck. Go clean them fellers out. This truck just flies. I wonder if I could use this. Oh, <gasps> ooh. I just had a brainwave. Use the truck maybe for doing my uh, silage stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like that idea. Big bud to this. I think we're going to lose a bit of storage though, but. Nice. Should have actually gone and done that guy first. And I could have done this guy and then just left it parked here. But I don't exactly know which way that guy's going to turn. I guess it doesn't really matter. They got a lot of corn to go through here. Holy corn. For corn snakes. Not filling my truck up too fast, is it? That's interesting. Looks like yellow gumballs. Wonder if the new FS version coming out, they've actually made them look a little better. Because they are kind of sort of jeezy looking. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get this guy dumped out. Yes, I'm driving through the field. There's no real way around this one right now.
Okay, I'll leave that guy unloading and hopes that potentially he might turn and come this way. If he doesn't, well, he doesn't. So we got all that other chaff. I wonder if I'd be, uh, how would I do that? I would need to get it loaded somehow. I don't know. I could sell it, I guess, in that bunker. I'd rather do it with the, 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 the silo we just put in. It would be a lot easier. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess it probably won't take us too long to get through it, though. But I'm going to have to get some kind of loader or something. Um, some sort of loader that will load into the big hopper of that uh, feeding wagon, mixing wagon, because I don't really have any other way of loading it. That stuff, I don't have a loader. I've got a loader on that little Kubota, but I don't think that thing will lift high enough. Well, I'll have to figure something out, I guess. That or a, a conveyor belt system, maybe we can get one of those. Let's, uh, let's track it pretty good there. Let's see. Uh, Bear systems, belt systems. Yeah, one of these thingies or something. That that one may be a little bit too big, but yeah, these things you can actually drive these, I believe. That one looks like it goes on a hitch. They don't say how high they lift or how they go, but anyways. Oh, I guess we're full. Okay, we'll head her back and. See if we can get that unloaded. I love this corn that just springs back up after a 30 ton tractor drives over. I don't know what Big Bud weighs. I know it's probably a lot. It's probably in around 30 ton. I don't know. Big tractor. Well, let me just slow down here for a minute. And you know what? Because now I'm curious. What does, looking this up here for us, Big Bud 7, 7, weight, 130, oh crap, 135,000 pounds, tractor built in 1977, that's the same age as me, holy cow. 27 feet long, 25 feet wide, and 14 feet tall. Holds 1,000 gallons of fuel and weighs more than 135,000 pounds when fully ballasted. Wow. Okay, so what's 135,000? 135,000 pounds. Two. Okay, so it's a lot more than I thought. 67.5 U.S. tons it weighs. Oh, that's, that's, that's a, you wouldn't want to get run over by that. That would not be a good day for you. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I underestimated that weight by like half. I can't believe that. That's insane. Okay, this is really not a good way to be doing this, but... Hoping it tells me how much I got in here. Hopefully it does the, the auto unload thing too here. Oh, it does. Good. All right. Does that keep unloading if I'm out? No, of course not. Ah, I wanted to see the scale going up, but it might actually not go up right away. It might have to. to uh, it might have to uh, sit there and digest for a while. That didn't work too bad, eh? Hmm. Kind of liking that. So yeah, this won't probably tell us anything yet. So we got 56,001%. Holy crap. <laughs> I need a lot bigger trailer. Anyways, that all it's working. It is a working. I 
wonder if the dump truck would dump too, though, with this trailer attached. I guess Bud works pretty good. I'll just keep going with him. So I gotta get some fencing done too in here. And kind of fence things up a little bit, make it look a little bit more, you know, fenced in. Not like to completely fenced in, but I think some extra fencing would be kind of neat. Oh, he went the other way, didn't he? Ah, uh, well, that's actually okay. Uh, okay, let's get him sorted out first here. So we gotta move the big rig. Good. So maybe we'll uh wonder which way my guy uh, cutting here is gonna go. I'll have to uh I'll have to put a few loads in there. I I that's gonna be a lot of running back and forth, but I mean it's not terrible too bad. And I could get a modded trailer that holds like a million and then we'd only have to do it like twice maybe but it'd still take that same time to fill it though all right let's see how this guy makes out going up the hill here this might be uh, some kind of interesting Oh, they're both stopped again. Well, I guess that guy didn't get too far. Well, I guess he did. Sorry there, guy. Sorry, bud. I'm watching. Now he's blocked by an object. Seems to be taking forever to fill that truck up. That's kind of odd. All right, we'll go back here. Gonna have to move him again in a moment. So far, he's actually doing pretty good coming up this big hill. Now, which way is he going to want to go? Hoping he comes this way. Good. That's what I wanted. It's funny how he come this way, but the combine went the other way. That's what they're having problems with. He made it up there, but the backing up, especially the sewing. Oh, man, that was terrible, the sewing. guys keep a working we'll go back to here and uh, 66 we almost got another full trailer so that must hold a heck of a lot of chaff over this one was only one percent this one trailer Wow so technically to fill that I need a hundred trailers of this stuff Wow <laughs> So we might do this part of the field over here, and then we might save this part here and do that too for chaff. That'll give us a whole bunch. 
You get that digestate too, right? And then we can actually get the uh, slurry spreader thing spread out on the field here a little. Uh, I know I've got one a slurry spreader, and it's not the greatest. It's a fairly big machine, but it runs out real fast. It doesn't hold a whole lot in it, so. I don't think you can sell that digestate on here anywhere. Not that I know of, anyways. All right, let's run this one back. Dump her in, get our 2%. Woo, 2%. Goodness, Bud's got some high road gears in them. No chance of him flipping over. Shouldn't be anyways. crashed. All right, still not showing any number there. I think it's actually probably got to do its thing first there. Um, Let's see, are we at 2% now? Still 1%. What? Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to need a bunch of that stuff, that's for sure. Whoa, where am I going? Capacity. I don't think i got to turn anything on here. I think it just would do it automatically, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, well, I'll let her go, I guess. Well, it looks like I got a lot of loads left to do here. Um, it's going to take us a wee while. I don't know whether we'll get it all finished today or not. We might have to do some next week, too. Maybe no cropping next week. Um... Might be just working on more silage and uh, some hay, potentially, or might be just all silage. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do a few more loads here today, anyways, and uh, try to keep up to them guys' harvest. And looks like they're both full again. So let's get this guy down here and. this guy. All right, let's get him to turn here. 63 ton tractor. All right, let's get these guys. Whoop. Now, I could go ahead and buy that trailer like this one, but it holds like a million or whatever it was. It was a lot. And we could use that for silage chaffing. We just keep going with it. But. Ah, that's for all we're going to do. I guess that'll work. Ooh. Pretty good brakes on this truck. Well, the back wheel is still spinning. That's kind of weird. Huh. Oh, now that one's going. That's weird. 
Maybe I found the only spot in whole field that it does that. It's the other side doing it too. <laughs> Weird. All right. The other guy's way down the field here. guys at this far end so he'll be all right there for a minute we will continue on here this is probably gonna end up being a fairly long video today I'm guessing but some of you like the longer video some of you don't I know but uh, I could do her in shifts, I guess, if you really wanted to. Watch a little bit and watch a little more later or whatever, I guess. And that's generally why, uh, why I only do um, one farm sim a week because they get fairly long and I guess I th I'm thinking people probably wouldn't be able to kind of keep up to everything, right? And then if they start to watch one and they don't watch one, and then all of a sudden the next one's up, like, in the next couple of days, like, that would be just too soon, I think. It's a farm sim's good, but there's a lot of work that's got to be done, you know. It's, you got to do it to uh, try to get things done. I like to get things complete every day, right? And if, well, some days, like, maybe today we won't, so hard to say. But I think I want to throw all this in the silo, too, and, of course, all the rest of that. I'll let those guys work over there and do that stuff. At least get a bit of corn to take in for a bit more money. Because this stuff, we're nearly not going to be making any money from it, so we got to have some to show for some expenditures, because <laughs> I think today we've... Uh, let's have a look here. I think today... New vehicles. Yeah, look at the money we spent in the last few days here. 1.4 million, 359,000. Construction cost, that was that um, silo we just put up. And property income, we've got a little bit of money there. Wage payment, that's pretty high. Someone's nearly full again, probably the green feller. I need 10 more percent, but I still got to turn around for that. Let's go and get those other fellers dumped out. Truck's way down here now. Looks like they're both stopped again. Holy. Full time job just keeping up to these two. Should get a bit of a. Uh, what do you want to call that? Um, trailer train going. And uh, for the silage, you could load each trailer up. Drag all them in, dump it, and dump it, and dump it. That'd be, that'd be kind of neat.
truck has 57 in it. That's it. Wow, so how many times have we dumped them out? Corn should build up a little faster than that, you'd think. I think, like, the oats seem to build up faster, and I think the oats is probably about the same or a little smaller kernel than, than, a, than, a, than a corn would be. Interesting. I see the little teaser trailers of the new farm sim, too. They're going to have the seasons in it. That's also... Which I tried the seasons. I didn't really care for it. Uh, I don't know. I found it was too much. Too much planning. Oh, yeah. Too much planning, I want to say. Um, whereas, you know, oh, I'm in the wrong season. Well, now i got to go through all this to get the right season back just to make uh, farm some video. And I'm like, mm. uh, I, I don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> I'll probably try it a couple of few times if I end up getting it. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The seasons, I, I've tried it on this uh, already, and I didn't like it much. It is a good mod, I must say. that It's a decent mod, but for me and my purpose on doing farm sim videos, it just it doesn't work. Great if you're doing single player and you got, you know, tots of time to kill, but, you know, we got a... Also a time frame, too, when we're, we're recording videos for this, right? So, yeah, it just doesn't work for that. All right, let's get this load in there. I'd like, ooh, I'd like to see a little more maintenance stuff. You know, blew a tire on Big Buy. Well, we got to get thirty thousand or sixty thousand dollars for a tire for it now or something, right? And, you know, you never have tires wear out. You never really have any. You got maintenance, but of what? It doesn't tell you. It needs to be a little more specific of what kind of maintenance you need. Oh, I blew the engine in the big butt. Well, should we fix it or spend the hundred grand on fixing it or scrap it or you know? So they need uh, I don't know a little more realistically maintenance and stuff like that would be cool for the farm sim stuff. I think. Like you know, tail lights on this trailer, for instance, here, right? Like to put those on. There. You know, all those tail light burnt out. Okay, we got to get that fixed. You know, things like that, right? Like everything just works all the time perfectly. It's like, well, that's, that's not the way it is. That's not how farms usually run. Holy cow, that guy's full again. Must have more fertilizer there. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go dump them out again, I guess. Truck's getting a little fuller looking now. You know something, that trailer, that trailer that's like really big, I wonder how much it actually is. That's actually a uh, extra thing for the dump truck, the extra trailer thing. I never did get that, but the pup trailer, mm, pup trailer. Uh, so that one's a hundred thousand. We've got a million in that one. 200,000 in that one. Now we've got, I think it's this, this, no. We've got this one and it only holds 56,000. Can't see with that cover on though. Hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. That's a million, but uh, I wouldn't be able to back that in though. Be no, these ones I wouldn't. I'd have to use the another truck. Oh man, that would need a truck with, just because with the the big bud and uh, no, I couldn't do it with that. That wouldn't work. That guy's full over there too. Now I might be able to do it with this this guy though. 
because I could drive in with this, I think. Maybe we could use the uh, the dump truck, I guess, in the trailer for the silage too. Might do that after these guys are done with them. But we'll uh, keep going here for now. I think between the two of them, they'd hold a fair bit more than this thing will. They should be able to get in there with that dump truck. It should fit there fine. Because the trailer fits. It's probably not much wider than this trailer. Yeah, we'll have to think about that after maybe after those guys are done with them over there. We might be, uh, well, no, we still got lots over here to do, I guess. green feller. Well, the sooner I get this part done here, which is not going to be too much longer, the sooner we can maybe use this for taking our silage over. I think this would be a lot better choice. Truck's 87. Should be still good for a wee bit. Alright, back to the silage. Oh, he's crawling up there, isn't he? Oh. He made her. He made her. Ooh, it's getting all full of stuff in the drill here now. Look at the size of that motor in there. Oh, look at the size of those hydraulic hoses. Actually, so see them going way back. something there. Alright, well, we're full again, and those guys are pretty close again, too. Probably. Just love how you can see the drive shaft turning in here, although I don't think that's well, let's turn it faster now. Let's stop. Whoa. Well, it's one of those weird things where it looks like it's not turning fast, but it actually is. That's really spinning good there. It, yeah, there it comes back around. And it comes back around again. <laughs> it's like the tires don't look like they're moving right, but they're really moving. Really fast. That's a really weird phenomenon. Is There must be a name for that. You guys know a name for that where... You know, like there, it looks like the tires really aren't spinning. They just get to that certain speed where it, like, I guess it's as fast as we can see it. Kind of thing, you know, and then all of a sudden it looks like it stopped, but it's really not. Maybe that drive shaft looks like it's not really spinning that fast, but... It's really whipping around there. <laughs> there must be a name for that weird phenomenon.
This old farm here is starting to shape up kind of cool looking. Well, I think I said earlier that, oh, sorry, I don't have any mods for you this week. Well, I think we've got a few in now. <laughs> this silo, for instance, I can't remember now where I got it from, but if you look up the uh, fermenting silo, I'm sure you'll find a link to it. And I can't get into those other machines there until this is emptied out. Get them dumped out because they're both stopped. Oh, they're both at the other end of the field. Okay. Alright, let's get them cleaned out. That is a very nice truck though, I must say. Seven, I guess we better get this shoot open there. Nine. Finally got a full truck. That was a lot of harvesting. Fill that little truck up. Doesn't seem right. do it with the dump truck. I don't know if it'll actually shoot into the back of this dump truck. You know that? I'm not too sure of that. Let's, uh, let's look it up here. Garage. Where's the dump truck? There it is. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, that's it there. Chaff. I couldn't see why not because it's a dump truck. It's not Nope, I don't like chaff. I'm not doing that chaff today. I don't think that's going to really make a difference. Are you done yet? Good enough. Okay. Hold off here. We'll bring the other big bud back. Where are you, bud? You're way over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that dump truck after. Maybe the trailer. I, actually, I'm not sure if the trailer will take chaff. That's another one to, to think about. Got 67 tons airborne there. <laughs> Holy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so if I can get in there quickly. Check that trailer out and see if it does chaff. Yep. Should do. Ah, <sighs> full grain tank. I think these guys are 
fairly close now. A couple more swipes apiece, maybe, and then they'll have her licked up here. Awesome. He's on his way back up here. Oh, wait a minute. It's going. Oh, I see. It was just a. Uh, look funny there, like it was. He went offline there, but no, he's, he's good. Alright, so what I'm going to. Whoa! What I'm going to do is take this other guy off. Yeah, and then the other guy will end up coming back to this end. Take this guy off. Just about a half a half a swipe left there, and then he'll end up coming back down. So that will work. Okay, that should work. I think this one compartment is full, though. Yeah. Although I don't think this guy's dumping. No, that's not going to work. Okay, not a problem. Well, the corn was fun. Corn's a lot of work too, though. It's a lot of work, um, a lot of work crop. And uh, we got a fair bit here. I don't know how much money we'll make off of that, but we'll uh, probably do pretty good. It's a fairly decent price there, so. Okay. I want to change it there. I'll put this guy away for now. Gonna need eventually some building of some sort big enough for these things to get in and out. For maybe right in this little splotch right there or something. For attachments. Now I might even put it like here and just have like this driveway through here and then this would be this is a bit wider than I need here. But uh, I'm getting enough attachments and you know stuff now that we're going to need something. All right. And machine worked pretty good. And we'll let that guy, what percentage is he at already? He's probably going to need to get emptied out again. So. What we'll do is we'll head up to the other end. I might have to go dump this truck out. Or the trailer, at least, in the truck. Well, truck too. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for it all to fit in here. Yeah. 
Man, this field is huge now. Holy cow. It works really good, though. For some reason, he's missing stuff up here. I don't know why. All right, we can get back to this guy here. Get another another load done, maybe. Look at that. We stopped here and to go to the other fellers there. It was 29% full. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be able to go a lot further with the, uh, the dump truck doing this job. He's underway. Should pretty much be able to get the whole road done, I think. Now, it's not a full swipe, right? So it'll be pretty much full by the time he's done, probably. But that'll work good. probably have to do this field two or three times maybe to fill that silo over there. It seems to hold an awful lot. He's winning. He's going faster than us. All right, another full load. Look at that work like almost perfectly lined up for this road here. That's kind of cool. Pretty much perfectly lined up. It snaps around so fast there. All right, probably leave this here after, and then we'll just uh, keep working with the truck, get him done and cleaned out, dumped out uh, up at the shop there. We dump all that stuff out and sell it. Oh, look, we got a number on our thing there now. We'll get it and look after. 3333. Ooh. 3333. What's that mean, I wonder? We've actually got some digestated. Output 333333. Three, 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 three. It still says zero percent though. Next hand tool, previous hand to open bale hatch. Ooh. What's that? What's that supposed to do? Turn off status. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I don't, don't know. That's interesting. Ooh, ladder. Can't go up though. We're only at three percent still. Oh, holy cow! That's a lot of work. But you know that's gonna last for quite a while. I'm not gonna need any more than that. I don't think. But let's leave this down here for now. I'll put stuff away later. Um, and let's see here. Did he make it to the? Yeah, he made it to the other end. I think. Yep, he's all done. Okay. All right. Well, we'll head her back down too, I guess. I should be able to get the rest of that corn in here, which is good. We'll go sell that. Make a huge pile of money and then we'll retire. No more farm sim. Sorry, we're retired. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing you. One of these days, though, it's gonna, we're going to have to retire. <laughs> I can't play this game forever, honestly, you know. I still like farm sim, but I uh, can't keep playing her forever. So, anyways. Pretty much. Oh no, still lots of room. All right, we'll get this guy dumped out. And good. Folding himself up. Nice. Alright, let's go sell this stuff. Got a fair bit here to sell. Yeah, I should be able to get in there with this thing, into that uh, silo thing, I'm pretty sure. Well, we never got to our hay today, but uh, that'll be another day. Heyday. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Heyday. Yeah, we'll have to... Uh, we almost got a full trailer and truck here. Okay, so we'll select the truck here first. Uh, it'll take a moment to dump out. Getting some pretty decent money, though, I must say. They need to work a little better on their uh, their unloading, dumping stuff. That's just a little bit too 1980s still, if you know what I mean. They could do a little better than that, and I could actually have the oof, the lump come out, right? this type of a dump. Wow, we made a lot off of that truck. Oh my goodness, 230,000. Well, that's not too bad. I'm not right there. I'm going to go turn around, I think. Just had to get everything coordinated right there. Yeah, we might do the trailer too. Silage there. 
chaff, sorry. Truck trailer, that'll hold a lot. Sack of part worth 63,000. Oh, crap. What do I got to press? You. You. It's not quite full. It's probably more like 60,000 in this one. This thing still dumps out with that on. I know some of the older versions, they would, it would stop dumping. Well, corn was a lot of work. But I think if we made that, uh, took that whole field off, we probably would have, well, what did we do today? Uh, we need this one here. 343,000. We didn't even quite cover what we spent on that stuff today. <laughs> but that's all right. All right, back to the chaff. Trees are getting awesome big. Holy cow. Don't flip her, bud. Don't. Ooh. Careful. Ooh, she was in the air there. Woo wee. Yeah, we got a bit of chaff to do. We'll probably get a lot more in this thing, though, I would think. Ooh, those brakes locked right up there. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Super awesome. That'll be better. We don't have to do as much driving back and forth. I don't mind the driving, but... We're driving back and forth. It's not cutting silage for us here. It's cutting chat for us. How to get this engine checked? Oh, look at that smoke pouring out there at that speed. I shouldn't be doing that. Start filling the truck first. Good. That's actually kind of it gives you a second view there, so you can see kind of what's happening. We can do or something there. Well, we got a few minutes to sit here and chaff along. Just chaffing away. <laughs> that uh, cutter actually does work pretty darn good, this thing. Big X.
had to really fire that chute down now, didn't he? The adjuster down. Springs aren't really hooked to anything up here, though. Helps close uh, the chute, I guess. to the end of this row here. I'm going to take a quick little break for a second. I just want to kind of see how, how long we've been working here for. And it's going to be a little bit. So give me one sec. I'll be right on back. All right. We're going to fill up the dump truck here and uh, take that in, I guess. Oh, turn truck. Um, I think we're, we're up to about two hours and 30 minutes here. So I'm not going to go probably a whole lot longer. I might just finish this side over here, maybe. And uh, maybe we'll finish that stuff kind of next week and then do some hay in next week, too. Uh, only because I go longer for the video, but I'm rendering this and doing this in 4K now. I don't know if you've noticed. You won't really notice if you don't have a 4K monitor, but the 4K is a way bigger file size, so like three-hour video is like 60 gigabytes to upload so it's it's pretty massive so I don't really want to go uh, too much more so we'll go maybe until we finish this site now dude why are you doing that I almost wanted this to unhook this trailer there I'm not going to take that trailer right now we'll get to confusion Yeah, the 4K, I mean, it looks really nice and everything, but it, it is a huge file size. Oh, man. That's after it's rendered everything all together, you know, and uh, all, all done up. It takes a while for me to upload that, too, so that'll be uh, probably a three-hour upload and everything for some of that size. Fairly big, yes. shooting right through. Well, that's interesting. That's something they could work on too is, you know, like all this is not going to all end up in the truck. Some of it's going to hit the top of that pile and shoot off to the side. And, you know, he's shooting kind of right in the middle there. Well, he should be turned and shooting up the front of it, filling this up. And, some things they can work on a little bit. Maybe they will. Maybe it'll be fixed. It'll be something better for the new version. I don't know. We shall see whenever we get we get into it. I know uh, I was reading or watching that trailer too, and you know we got all this stuff. There's like 400 and something things of all you know all this stuff. It's gonna be well over 600 apparently in the new version. It's different stuff. Equipment and all, oh man. It's pretty cool, but it's going to be, uh, I really hope they put a search thing in. To search up, you know, like, bailer or something. Trailer. 
brings up all the trailers, right? So I have to look through all the little categories. 84, 85 percent now, 85 now, getting there. You gonna turn around there, do you think, there, bud? Why is he not? Weird. So we'll turn it around. How far away that trailer is? Way down there. <laughs> Hardly see it. It's so far down that road. So I'll run and grab the trailer after. And this is full, which is much longer. And uh, we'll start filling that too. truck. That filled up a lot faster than the corn did, didn't it? That corn took forever to fill up. trailer probably gonna have to go dump I think and then come back but we'll have something to do next week too and then some hay in next week we'll get the mower going over there and get the tether going and the loading wagon going and then I think we'll be ready to buy some cows <laughs> Maybe next week. We'll see. Got to buy a little bit of equipment for uh, feeding, mixing, and stuff. Yeah, I've got a little bit to do, but not too bad. all in here maybe I don't know but uh, quite a few rows left there at least 10 so uh, you might have to dump once maybe this will probably uh, just to give you a, maybe a few more facts here this will probably take me probably about four and a half hours to render the size of the file too it takes a long time Hopefully I got enough hard drive space left to fit it all on there. <laughs> oh, that's the trouble, right? You have to have a lot of hard drive space for storing all this video. Pretty much once it's done, I got to boot it off because, uh, delete it off because I don't have room uh, to store anymore in that.
Yes, yes, yes. Well, he's actually done a pretty good turn in this guy. The harvesters and the cedars, that's 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 pretty darn steep for them to be turning on. Like that's the trouble with this, right? Almost need to come right to the top of the hill here and buy these ones and come right to the top and then it wouldn't be so bad for the turning if they went right up and turned around there. But. If you're shooting in the other one, that's all right, too. Yeah, it's got to be full in that first compartment. Which, what happens if I put the cover over here now? That stuff fills it. <laughs> Alrighty, then. On the right of us here is actually a bit longer too, so we'll be a little bit more coming out there too. Ooh, 90%. Should make it to the end of this row. So yeah, that uh, digester thingy, silo thing, I don't know how long it takes um, to actually have silage come out. I'm not too sure. Not sure why you can flip that bale thing up either, that real great thing. I don't know what the deal is with that. Well, this was much better using this system here. This truck and trailer system. Really good. And a lot further, that's for sure. And we are good to go. All right. Yeah, why did he not want to turn around at the end of that row? That's weird. So hopefully this thing fits in here now. <laughs> it should. I think we should be good. Bud was just, just ridiculously huge. Oh, you can see it fill in there. I got gotcha. you. That's kind of cool. One percent. Ooh, that's not gonna maybe. 
get in there I didn't come in too straight. Ooh. Well, we'll see what happens. Might squeeze through there. <laughs> Maybe just... Uh. Just made her. Okay, does that keep dumping out for me? Of course not. I gotta stay in the truck. Almost 500,000 in there. That should do for a wee while. Alright, we are good to go. Yeah, I think these trees are going to have to come out here. They're just a little bit in the way now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's go finish off this. I think we should have enough capacity now to finish this off here. Get her into the digester and then uh, work on this little splotch there next week. Oh, I'm going to jump this. Can I jump it? Jump it! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was awesome. So I got probably one, two, yeah, we got quite a few swipes left here. Shouldn't take us too long, though. We can just keep moving here. Probably just use the truck now. I don't think I'm going to use the trailer. Finish today, anyways. Need to wash my truck. Look how muddy it is. Holy... Chaffin gets a little boring after a while, I must say. But the job we're going to need the stuff for us.
pretty good money today. We're down to 200 and something. It's been pretty good. I think if I had uh, three... What's the matter, dude? If I had three combines going on. What are you just doing there? That's weird. If I had three big combines going, I probably would have got done a lot faster, but I would have to keep up with them, with the truck, like, constantly. I, uh, wouldn't have been able to do this today. This part, I don't think, chaff. Notice that with this dump truck, the uh, front steering is kind of weird. It doesn't really pivot right. See, the there. there's nothing attached to anything. Oh well, still works good. played a whole entire game day here. Well, not quite, but that's pretty much started at like what six o'clock or something, whatever, six or seven or eight o'clock, whatever it was, eight o'clock maybe. In the morning when we started this uh, work here, so I guess we sped up the time a little bit to get this to finish growing, but most of that's genuine time we played here, so it's, it's crazy. It's a lot of playing. like here somewhere, like another, what's that, uh, one, two, three, four, five rows, that would uh, eat our equipment. Bro, oh, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I don't know if I can count that or not. Uh, let's try this way. Uh, well, this is kind of acting weird here. We're going to count that outside one. I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten doing about 11, maybe 12 rows there. This is sort of one on the very far outside here, though it's not really hitting that one, but it's still taking it out. So. And that's, that's 
sort of hit now. Power up to 80% already. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the trailer. I'm just going to bring back the truck here. The trailer holds a little bit, but uh, it's working pretty good if it's just the truck. Being very picky there, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Maybe just in the right spot. And yeah, we still got a fair bit to do. I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, call it a day after we get this load done. Finish that next week. Still got uh, whew, five or six, seven or eight maybe swipes left on this roll and then all that stuff to do. What the heck? Am I too close? I'm too close. That's interesting too, the uh, tire tracks that this truck is leaving. It's leaving a... <laughs> Look at that one, we're full here. It's leaving a tire track from a tractor. Those tires... They're not tractor tires. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut this guy down. Yes, we'll uh, take a slow dip, I guess. And... There we go. We'll, we'll finish this up next week because we got a lot of work here too. I probably got another half an hour at least there of that stuff. So we'll uh, we'll leave her till next week, I think, and that's going to be ooh, probably an hour to bit just doing that stuff. So. <laughs> More chaffing next week. I just better think we better maybe leave her at that because that'll be getting to be a pretty big video right now. And uh, yeah, we better call our day there. So let's go dump this first though. And then uh, I'm just gonna put stuff away, but I, I don't think I'll even bother doing that this week. Whoa, whoa, easy. Easy. Oh, sorry, Kubota. I nearly got you. <laughs> All right, that should get us up over the 500,000 here. For sure. I even need the 600,000 by the time it's all emptied out. Pipes. Now to get chaff out, I guess I drive back in here again. I'm not sure. Oh, Six hundred thousand. Sixty. Six hundred two. Six three. Sixty four. Not too bad.
that's not done yet. I can't get any chat or uh, feed out of it. Uh, I just don't know if there's anything else I gotta do. Like, oh, eight percent now. That's pretty good. The output digesto we got one percent. That's what I guess this number is. Hmm. I still don't understand this though. Bail hatch. So, oh, I guess I could put bales in there. I got you. I would just dump right into this thing. Oh, okay. I think that's what that means. That makes sense now. I understand that. But, okay. Well, let's put the truck back over here. So, oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> the bones of the building. Jump this truck real good. Ready, 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 ready. Full speed. Oh crap! And we're good. <laughs> All right, we'll continue this next week. We got a lot more silage here to cut. And okay, guess he had a little bit of spare in there. But there we go. That's it for Farm Sims Saturday for this week. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed all that silage cutting, corn corn harvesting. That was a busy day. But uh, we'll catch you all next week. And uh, we'll continue on here. Finish that up and get her into the silo there and get her digesting for us. And then uh, do some uh, hay and maybe too. So catch you all next week. Thanks again for watching. And you guys have a good week.